and Saudi Arabia's leaders have formed a new military coalition of 34 nations aimed to fight terrorism in their words, militarily and ideologically. The alliance is made up of Muslim nations from Asia, Africa and the Arab world and will coordinate efforts against armed groups in Iraq, Syria, Libya, Egypt and Afghanistan. Well, for more on this, I'm joined by Jean-Marc Rickley from Doha, Qatar. He's a lecturer at King's College London and a professor at Qatar's Defence Academy. Uh, Jean-Marc, good to speak to you this morning. What's the significance of Egypt being involved in a partnership that involves both Turkey and Qatar? Right. Uh, good morning. Um, I would say I, um, there is too much of a significance. If you if you look at this uh, initiative, you had a previous initiative last March at the summit of the Arab League uh, under the push of Egypt and Saudi Arabia to create a joint Arab force. This project uh, was postponed in April, May, and in August, last August, uh, the, um, Saudi Arabia said that it would be postponed indefinitely. So it's now nothing new. Uh, that you have such a kind of uh, initiative. In the previous initiative, in the Joint Arab Force, you had Qatar uh, together with uh, Egypt that were supposed to be in the same uh, alliance. Now, uh, this uh, initiative is a response of what happened in uh, Syria, the new momentum that was created uh, by uh, the intervention in, uh, in Russia, that in a way uh, undermine uh, Saudi's interest in uh, in Syria. And also it has to do with what happened in Yemen where the uh, coalition is getting bogged down uh, in, uh, in the country and therefore they have uh, to uh, look for additional allies. So it's part of a series of events where Saudi Arabia needs to beef up its uh, cooperation, military cooperation. Uh, and what could this coalition do that the Americans and the Russians can't do? Could we see boots on the ground in Syria and Iraq to fight Daesh? Well, we haven't seen details about the exact cooperation, but uh, if you look at previous uh, joint forces uh, initiative in the region, uh, most of them have failed. And here we are talking about an alliance of 30 different countries uh, with on three different continents. And the key problem is um, is training and the ability to cooperate with each other. If you take the example of NATO, which is a military alliance, which have developed a, a mechanism to uh, become interoperable, that you don't have this uh, in, um, in, uh, in the Gulf, uh, in, in the Middle East. So therefore the contribution the military contribution uh, is uh, for now uh, questionable because uh, simply most of the countries that are part of this coalition uh, do not have the training uh, to, uh, to fight a uh, counterinsurgency uh, campaign. And therefore, uh, if Saudi Arabia is serious about this alliance, they will have to develop the structure to actually train and uh, cooperate together as well as sharing intelligence because fighting, if the primary purpose of this force is to fight terrorism, uh, sharing information, sharing intelligence will be crucial. Well, Jean-Marc Rickley, uh, thank you very much for joining us.